What's going on, y'all? Hey, I figured I'd do a quick video on what's in my box, especially when I'm guiding. It looks random, but there is a method to my madness. Let's check it out. So number one, look, first thing I grab. This, I like individual boxes. I don't know why I'm strange. This is nothing but weight base for when I feel like waking or when I have somebody who's struggling walking the dog. I just love weight base in general. These are all KVDs. This box here, next one I grab. This is nothing but lead. This would be all my 16th and 8th ounce jig heads and my worm hooks. Let's see what's in this next box I'm grabbing here. This is just top water. These are a lot of sexy dogs in full size, the small ones, the juniors. And there's a couple in there with single hooks in case the grass is bad. What else we got here? Another box. All right, so this guy's random. What's in the random? This will be stuff I don't use a lot, but may get in a weird situation where I need it, like lip crank baits, jerk baits, and stuff like that. Not a lot of stuff I use on the grass flats, but you never know. And then uh, this box, super important. This is my leader material. All right. I can only find these in the fishing department at HEB, these micro ones. Our uh, Walmart doesn't have these and some other places don't have them. But I keep 14 and 17 mono at all times in here for flats fishing. This is my flats guiding milk crate, basically. All right, here, this is just some Redfish Magic spinner baits, especially when I'm with clients and they're, they may have, be having trouble with uh, jigging or whatnot. I can give them a Redfish Magic and I'll do a straight crank. All right, what else we got here? I carry two Ziplocs. The first Ziploc bag is chock full. You guessed it. Fight Club by Fish Bites. The second one is my random normal plastics. A lot of Redfish Magic and Blade Minnows for the summertime. And then swim baits. Look, I put them in the Fight Club bag, but that's uh, Rage Swimmer. And last but not least, I go to Walmart and I get these $2 stringers. Their pier stringers are long. I cut them really short, put a loop in them, a piece of uh, pool noodle, and then I just uh, hook that on the side of the kayak with dragging some fish behind. There you go. There's my milk crate for guiding folks. And uh, I also use this as my personal milk crate a lot. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I'll catch y'all later. What? Boom.